today we're going to go over how to set up and use Tradebate for those who may be new to the platform or maybe those who have used it before but want to learn a little more features if you haven't spent too much time messing around with it. So we'll just get started. Um, first and foremost, more than likely when you open up it, open up your chart for the first time or log in, you're going to see you know indicators and all this stuff on the chart and you know watch list orders the dom and potentially other things depending if you're getting on the website or on the desktop so uh generally if you want to let's say add more charts or add other windows you can just go up here on the top left and then depending whatever you want to add whether it's your trade performance or your PL for the day whatever it may be let's say if you want to add another chart you just click and hold and then just drag it to wherever you want and you can customize it if you want like thin horizontal charts if you want them side by side pretty much whatever you want and then of course when you're adding the charts or whatever it is that you're doing it's going to ask you for the symbol or the ticker that you're going to be trading so let's just say we want to trade the mini dow or ym just going to look up ym and kind of choose it select and now we have the ym chart something to note is make sure you're on the correct contract for the month so you're not on a previous one or one that's about to expire or one that has low volume usually in my experiences when you look up at the symbol it'll have the most recent one set up <coughs> excuse me so pretty straightforward on adding tickers and we'll just remove them from here next thing I want to go over I'm gonna spend some time on the actual chart now so let's say for the sake of the conversation you want to look at the four hour chart or the one hour chart or whatever it may be when you're on the chart and the ticker right next to it it's going to tell you the time frame that you're on so let's say i want to look at the one hour time frame or 30 minute time frame when you highlight over the chart it's going to bring up this, these little windows here i'm going to go ahead and click on time period and then just switch it to pretty much whatever you want so this will be the one hour chart now for those who may like custom time frames you can just go to custom time and pretty much do whatever you want here we have the two minute time frame let's say i know some people do the two hour or whoops that'll be 120 minutes yep so we got the two hour here pretty straightforward now let's say you want to go ahead and add um, indicators or you want to remove indicators in this case usually when you load it up it's going to have indicators preset so to remove them you're going to go to configure chart elements the little gear icon and then you can either hide it or you can just completely remove it from your chart and then of course if you want to add indicators we'll just go to the little indicator symbol right here next to the chart elements and then whatever you use you can just look it up here let's say you want to add a EMA it's going to ask you the period you can make it EMA, 12 whatever you like and now you have it on the chart now if you only use trade of eight and you want to know when the bar is about to close something that I discovered recently if we go to the settings up here on the top right of the chart it's gonna say view settings I'm gonna click on that then we'll say bar countdown settings and then make sure that's enabled so now Let's say I'm on the 15 minute. It'll tell me the amount of time before that bar closes. Or the five minute, whatever it may be, one minute. Now, 
when it comes to drawing tools on the left side right here it's gonna have this little like dash icon it's gonna be all your drawing tools so you can use line you know horizontal line if you want to and then you can extend it as far as you want if you double click on it it's gonna give you different options so if you want to delete it if you want to change the color if you want to change the thickness of the line the type of line if you want to make it dashed if you don't want to make it as apparent on the chart you can fade it a little bit pretty straightforward oh whoops we're not trying to do that they also have fibonacci if people like to draw those and you could just quickly lock your drawing so they so you don't actually delete it or move it. You can hide them all, remove them all. So when it comes to placing trades, uh, pretty straightforward. You can literally just click on the chart itself to place trades. Now you can either sell or buy stop if you're above the current price. If you're below, it'll do a sell stop or buy limit. If you want to buy market, pretty straightforward. You can just click on it up here or buy bid or buy ask. So for the DOM, uh, pretty straightforward. It's pretty much going to show you uh, all the prices and how many orders are sitting there. Now, if you wanted to, let's say, uh, place a buy limit order, you would just click on right here, and then it'll open up a buy limit on the chart. And then when it comes down, it'll fill you. And same thing for a sell limit, just make sure it's above the current ask, and it'll be a limit order. If you try to place a sell down here, like trying to do a buy stop, it'll mark it It'll uh, sell market and get you in immediately. Same thing for a buy. If you're going to go long and you put a buy above the current bid, it'll get you in as a market order. Very, very, very important to note. Now, placing trades, pretty straightforward. Of course, you can always place a trade over here. It gives different advanced orders. But for me... I find execution very important and you know when you're trying to get in the trade you want to get in super fast so you can simply literally just go to the chart and just place your order here buy or sell limit whatever or sell stop or buy stop if you're under the current price and then sell limit or buy stop if you're above the current price and then from there when you just click on it it'll come and fill your order now of course if you want to get out of the trade Let's say if I do a buy limit order, you can just go ahead and hit sell market and it'll just get you out. Something to keep in mind is if you want to get out, like, you know, if you want to get in and out really quickly, like I just mentioned, if you're doing a sell, you'll just do buy market and it'll get you out of the trade. If you hit sell and then hit sell market again, to let's say get you out of the trade it'll actually open up another sell order so it's important they use the opposite so if i'm buying then i'm going to do sell market to get out if i'm selling i'm going to do buy to get out of the position and even it out alternatively you can just hit exit at market and close all pending orders or open positions and current positions as well now when it comes to ATM settings, there's a really cool thing that I love about futures. For those um, who trade like regular stocks, you can just think of it as like a bracket order. Pretty much same thing. Uh, they just call it ATM. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but pretty much bracket orders. So with the ATM settings, you can pretty much make it whatever you want. 
So let's say, for example, I believe I have this one set at 10 points. So let's say if I were to do a sell limit, it'll automatically have my 10 point stop loss and 15 points uh, profit gain. And once you place the trade, it'll immediately have your stop loss and your take profit set. And then you can just press and hold on the chart and drag them wherever you want. And it's instantaneously, so you don't have to like wait and then confirm it again, which I love. Because, you know, when you're getting in a trade, you don't want to get back in and then set manual orders to get in or out for your stop losses. You want to you want everything to be good to go. So with ATM settings, pretty straightforward. Uh, whatever you have it set to, it'll immediately place everything on the chart. Now, to create one, if you don't have one, more than likely you won't have one when you first get on. So you're going to go right here with a little gear icon next to ATM settings. And let's just say for NQ, you want to do this in, let's say you want 20 points, take profit, stop loss. So of course, but we know 40 ticks is equivalent to 10 points on NQ. So we would do 80 and 80. And then we can name this uh, 20 point. Save it. And then we come up here, 20 point. Now when I go to place an order, now I have 20 points above and below for my take profit and my stop loss. And you can do a lot of different options. So let's say if I want, you could do like trail stops, um, auto break evens and trail stops. It gives you a lot of different options. If you don't want to babysit the trade like I usually don't, let's just say with the auto break even, it's a cool feature where as soon as it hits your first take profit, it'll move the rest of the position to wherever else you want it to. So cool little ATM settings. Now, uh, lastly, if you want to go and create some watch lists or let's say, you know, different indice indices that you're looking at, pretty straightforward. I'll close this. Let's just start from scratch. We'll go to the market analyzer. And of course, just drag that down. And let's say you want to look at NQ. Uh, ES and YM and then of course uh, you can name this pretty much whatever you want so now you have your main indices and of course you can add whatever you want to it that way you can uh, look at what's going on personally I don't really care for this since I'm usually trading one ticker at a time, so I usually just have my chart uh, maximized. And then right here, of course, you can make different templates. So let's say you want to make one that has four screens. Save it. And I definitely misspelled screens, but <laughs> that's all right. And there you go. Now you have your four charts. You can select your time frames. And you're good to go. One thing that I forgot to mention, whatever chart you're placing a trade on, make sure your ATM setting is on. So let's say I'm trading ES. Four points is going to be set on this specific chart. It's not going to be set on the other ones. So be sure that when you're placing these trades, that it has your ATM settings ready to go. And similar on the DOM, 
if you place an order on the DOM, it's not going to have the ATM setting. You have to make sure that that's listed here. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the overview. Of course, any other questions or if this was helpful, let me know in the chat, in the comments below, and I will see you guys later.